So this is our tent here at Burning Man. Um, I'm just gonna give you guys a quick little tour of how we set up this year because we've learned a lot since our first year here at Burning Man. Um, this is our beautiful kitchen. We have little burner stoves and our water, um, food crates. This is just a drop cloth. It's like cheaper than buying fancy tapestries and it keeps everything in the shade. It keeps it a lot cooler. We'll be thankful for it during a dust storm. Something to keep in mind when you're a Burning Man is that everything you pack in, food packaging, wrappers, extra food scraps, you have to pack out with you, which can be really messy. This is actually one food brand that I love because I know it doesn't look like it, but these wrappers are actually biodegradable, so you don't have to feel guilty about adding shit to the landfill. They're organic, they're good rave food, full of all the good stuff that you need to keep you going when you're out partying in the playa. This is a wastewater bin. Um, I just cut an empty water jug upside down, duct taped it, we've been pouring all of our pasta water when we brush our teeth, keeps everything nice and clean, and then we can close it up and pack it out with us. Make sure that you dump responsibly, you're not allowed to dump in the plier or any surrounding lands, but this is really important for keeping all your stuff clean. Keeping your shoes outside also keeps a lot of the dirt outside. Um, just make sure that your shoes aren't super fancy like great boots, because someone might Take them, you know, be careful about what you leave outside. One thing that I did learn is that having just a crappy rug like this outside your tent makes a big difference about how clean the inside of your tent stays. And it's kind of a nice place to hang out and leave your shoes and yeah, makes it nicer. Go inside. <laughs> this is our tent this year. Um, it's a bell tent from Stout Tent and it's been completely freaking amazing. I hung up these little twinkly solar lights, which have been a lot of fun, kind of gives it a cozy feel at night. This is actually a queen size air mattress. Um, and I bought this one specifically because it can hand pump, which is great out here because you have no power. So you can't like plug in unless you have a generator, but not everyone has that. Um, got my fuzzy pillows, got my fuzzy blanket. want to be really comfortable while we're out here. We can shake it off every day. Also acts as a dust cover during the day. Um, I made this nightstand. <laughs> So over here is we just have our toiletry basket, which has a ton of baby wipes, all the basic stuff that you'd have at Burning Man. I can post a link in the bio with all of the packing lists and goodies for Burning Man. I have wigs, my wig stands, costume bins, all the heavy coats and winter, not winter, nighttime clothes. You know, it gets cold. My favorite ever butterfly chair and my favorite is ever Moroccan proofs because you gotta keep it classy. Um, and then I have my lanterns, which have been a lot of fun, but I don't get to light them very often. But they're a lot of fun to look at. When I was designing the tent, I really wanted a space where we could have friends come and sit and hang out and just kind of jam at night, and this has been perfect. So we just have people on the floor and people bring guitars and we all hang out and it's been a lot of fun. This beautiful little thing right here is technically a shit bucket, but it's also an emergency trash can slash emergency anything that you need to put in here that you want locked up and sealed. And I know it sounds crazy, but when you're a Burning Man and there's a dust storm or it's the middle of the night or if the porta potties are really gross and far away, you will be so grateful for this thing full of individually bagged lavender scented kitty litter. Trust me, it's a lot cleaner than the porta potties out here after a week. <laughs> so, one other thing that I really love about this tent is that it has an inner and an outer lining. So, when you need some air in the morning but like still need some privacy or at night, we just fold this one back and then you got air. There are vents on the inside along the floor that you can unzip. Gets a nice breeze going through there, keeps it a lot cooler. <sighs> oh. So one of the most important things about this tent is that it also can come with this extra shade tarp, which keeps the sun off of your tent directly and makes it 10 to 15 degrees cooler during the middle of the day, which makes a huge difference in your comfort level and how late you can sleep in in the morning, which is really a lifesaver. Another fancy tip of mine is using pool noodles from the 99 cent store and putting them around ropes because people like me like to bang their head on things. I also used it around the outside of the tent, which I will show you in a moment, and it just keeps people safe at night so they can see where they're going and not look into stuff. So right as I was about to go show you guys around the back of the tent, the camera actually ended up dying. So here are a couple pictures of how I use the pool noodles just to make sure that no one would trip over the lines at night. Um, you just cut them lengthwise and then slip them over the stake and the rope just to make them a little bit more visible. I also have an entire blog post with all the links to everything I used on the tent and explaining a little bit more about the design process and my packing list for Burning Man. So I hope you guys check it out. Thanks for watching.